You've got a tune to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I am beside myself to have one of my favorite bands live in the KEXP studios today. It's Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for us. You've been very generous with your time to KEXP over the years. You've played live from Bumbershoe. We've had you down at South by Southwest. You even did a show for our VIP donors, but we've only had you in the studio a couple of times. And I love seeing you play in all formations. And when you play acoustic, it's so dreamy. So thank you so much for coming in today ahead of your show yeah, thank tonight. You. Thank you. What are you going to start us off with? A dreamy one. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try Echo. Echo.
Mm. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club live on KEXP. That song Echo from the new album Wrong Creatures came out just over a month ago. That was dreamy, as promised. <laughs> How about another one? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> Tonight, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club are playing at the Showbox here in Seattle and heading down to Oakland, the Fox Theater, on Wednesday. Is that tomorrow? And they have not slept for three days. <laughs> I know. you. It seems kind of early. You would just... Trap inside of our minds, multiple colored psychedelic neon blue dots. We do it. None we of this can. is real. It's all an illusion, <laughs> a projection of yourself. <laughs> there is no such thing as reality, and you are the imagination of yourself. This song is called Haunt.
Another beautiful song from the new Black Rebel Motorcycle Club album, Wrong Creatures. Thank you again so much for coming in today. It sounds fantastic to hear these new songs live. Thank you Thank very you. much again. Thanks for having us. Last time you were here was back in 2013 when Spectre at the Feast came out and you were in our old studios and you set up... That's at the perfect moment to spit all that water out right when you said that. <laughs> oh, but what? You, okay, real, were we really here? Yeah, well, it was not <laughs> on this exact spot, but Different, about but a half yeah. mile away. And uh, okay, thank you. a smaller room, you set up uh, the full That's electric great. sound. And uh, we, I was yeah. reminiscing on that session with our engineer, Kevin Suggs, this morning. And he's like, it was a menagerie of amps. Yeah, <laughs> I think you brought yeah, like yeah. six amps to that session. Oh, well, yeah, there's four. I just used four. Two yeah, for show. But, <laughs> no, none of them are for show. <laughs> they're all on <laughs> at the same time. Um, they're all, yeah, but, they're all uh, for the money, but not, not <laughs> for the show. But yeah, we had them in, there was in the, were, were they in the hallway? Or were they, some of them were in a hallway, some of them were in a room. I forget how that was done, but yeah, we, we managed to fit it all. Well, I love hearing the songs um, in both, you know, loud and layered and electric and this beautiful acoustic format. I know that you do this quite often. I've seen you play acoustic from time to time. And it makes me curious to know if this is the way that this, the, the songs start. I, I, I recall that you write collaboratively and that songs kick around for a while. But how do they generally, you know, find their birth? Oh, big babies. Um, they, they, uh... Yeah, well, this album is the hardest one to um, figure out how to play it like skinny and stripped down. Uh, so thank you for making our lives <laughs> more difficult because this is not the way these, uh, this album started at all. Uh, it was, I think it was the first time the whole, the whole band, you know, we were just all turned up and uh, fully electric and playing around in that world. Um, uh, but in the past, yeah, like we've we've done a lot more kind of, uh, you know, sings stuff you work on for a few years. That's like a acoustic thing. You bring it in and you mess it up a few times trying to play it as a band, and then you'll figure out some way to do it or just strip it down and stick to it like that. So, so do they kind of come out of jam sessions? This album more so than past ones, yeah which makes these acoustic things more nerve-wracking, because we have never... Yeah, this is, like, the first time we've heard Echo and Haunt um, in the last couple of months, like, yeah, learning... Like, oh, yeah, it's, it is this... It can be that simple, too. We got used to it. it we're sounds, loud and proud, though, just, like, you know, for years. Yeah. It sounds so beautiful. I, I couldn't tell it was the first time you were doing it like this. And I love the... Well, the, the first time, like... In the last couple of months, when we were told we have to yeah, <laughs> since we started touring, yeah, acoustically. maybe the third time acoustically, yeah. Have these songs been kicking around for a while? I know that you tour a ton. It's been a while since the last record of these songs. Have you been working on them since then? Yeah, yeah, a few of them. Uh, Echo, that had been around, I, I think I started at Beat the Devil, a uh, version of that. Yeah. Um, and a little thing started maybe maybe even further back or a little bit around that time. Spook. That was kind of a yeah, that was off the last record, but that was, was a couple all rise and spook. Uh yeah, we're kinda supposed to be for the Spectre the Face album and we got half halfway there and yeah we couldn't. Sometimes you can't, you don't know how to finish what you start. Or, and yeah. they come back to haunt you, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> or spook you out, yeah. Robert and Peter, you have been friends for a very long time, the band running on close to 20 years now, but your friendship going back farther, and Leah has been with the band now for almost a decade. So you clearly know each other well. You've spent so much time together. Is there some sort of little magical potion or formula to the great chemistry that you have as a band and, you know, the longevity and hopefully many more years to come? I hide all the knives, plastic, plastic forks and spoons. <laughs> I don't, I don't. No, it's, it's, um, I guess it's like, yeah, it's, it, it, like, it is like getting married really young, like to be, like bands when you, uh, 
yeah, it has a very similar thing, and uh, and the songs kind of are like your kids that you're trying to help raise, and um, yeah, uh, so it's it is like that, but uh, uh, I don't know. It's it's also giving giving e giving each other space, and yeah. trying to always kind of step back, you know, even though I feel right in the moment that you know something should be done this way. It's, 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 that's just my feeling in that moment, you know, and it's the give and take of that, um, from, you know, at times, you know, it, it's, it's stepping back and trusting the people around you, trusting him, trusting Leah, you know, to carry on and not, not, not be the, um, and to tell you when you're being a bit too, like, hey, you, you're, you're gonna be in a bit too much. That guy, <laughs> you know, step back. You know, let let everybody's voice, you know, come in. When you're such a long time fan of the band like I am, and I think of you, you've got so many records out. You tour exhaustively. You've been like all over the world, and I just think of you as playing, writing, always doing stuff in the band. You live in Los Angeles now. Do you find that you're able to, you know, step away, find balance in your life? Or is it all about, like in my mind, is it all about Black Rebel Motorcycle Club? Well, it's been pretty, yeah, we got into a, more of a rhythm that was broken up this time than usual. So we had a, a pretty steady pace and, uh, and with L L Leah had a health scare with, um, you know, took all of us by surprise and kind of, uh, she had to have surgery, brain the surgery that um, it required a, quite a while of physical therapy to kind of get back in shape. And so we kind of, uh, it was, yeah, one of the first times I, I had to sit still, and we all did. And, you know, uh, that's the scariest thing for, for living inside of a rock and roll bubble for too long is stopping and then things catch up with you so it's uh it was good to, to remember how or realize uh yeah, how crazy I am and how much like music is the m medicine and if this music stops then I gotta probably go on some sort of medicine <laughs> <coughs> Well, Liz Health Scare was very frightening and so so relieved and happy to hear that she's doing well. You're all yeah. out on the road. She'll be playing with you tonight at the Showbox. Yeah, absolutely. Always yeah. happy to have Black Rebel Motorcycle Club live in the KEXP studios. And it sounds like you're going to take us on a little uh, trail down memory lane. A trip backwards. <laughs> <laughs> So different now, a scream which fills the air and haunts the smallest children sleep upon the floor. Where have they gone? You'll hear them say, with smiles meant to cry. As they wind a walk, shaped on her wrist, and quickly look away. Four and six have come and gone five times before they see. And upon the lips of everyone, a curse I've never dreamed yet. Upon the lips of everyone, a curse I've never dreamed. It's a complicated situation. It's a complicated situation, Mama. I'm a complicated situation. Children were awoke in time to haze their eyes 
eyes So it was never known on which they chose were books of olden time So it was never known on which they chose were books of olden time It's a complicated situation It's a complicated situation I'm a, I'm a complicated situation KEXP Studios featuring Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Tonight they'll be at the show box. And we squeeze one more out of you. Um, all right. This song is called uh, The Knife. And it was um, put out at some point. God, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes 
Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Always great to have you here. The new album, Wrong Creatures, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, coming soon to an ice cream shop near you. Thanks again. Yeah. You've got it tuned to KEXB Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.